So I'm Paul Schreiner and I'm a plant physiologist with uh, Agricultural Research Service and I work on grapevine nutrition and also on roots and mycorrhizal fungi. And the whole point of this project uh, is to manipulate the nutrition that vines are getting uh, and look at how that affects both the physiology of the plant and fruit quality. And in this trial, the first series of experiments we're doing are directed at nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And so that's what this trial set up to investigate. So we're using this pot and pot system, uh, which basically uh, just allows us to grow a vine uh, where we can control what the vine is exposed to inside the pot, but the pots are buried in the ground so the vines behave normally in relation to weathers because the roots are experiencing the same kind of environment they would in the real world. So that's the reason we've gone to this system. And the reason that we're growing them in pots is because we want to actually control the nutrition that the vines are getting. Uh, in much uh, vineyard nutrition work that's been done to date, uh, it's been done using existing vineyards. And within a particular region, all the soils may be high or low in particular nutrients. And so you can't really understand how specific nutrients affect the plant. So the the whole point of the pot and pod is so that we can more carefully manage what the vines experience. This is the uh, way that we're manipulating the, the nutrients that are going out to the vines. So we have the barrels which uh, contain the concentrated nutrient solution and then these devices up above mix that with the incoming water and we can control the nutrition that's going out to the vines. So this system is currently set up, we have 11 treatments. And without going into a lot of detail, um, we, in the first run of the experiment, we're manipulating nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And in each case, we're doing four rates of each of those nutrients. Young vines, these were just planted this year. And these vines will not be used for the experiment until they're mature and are carrying a normal crop load. And this is now the second time this experiment's been run because we had some major issues with flower necrosis in the first experiment. But if you look over here in this row, we saved some of those vines from the first experiment. And you can see these look pretty typical for a vineyard in Oregon. Of course, this is after fruit harvest. The fruit's gone right now. But this first set of vines has been used over a couple years, and we've collected some preliminary data. We're trying to get a better understanding of exactly what the vine end status should be to result in the kind of fruit end status that we want to have in the winery. Uh, from the preliminary data is that some of the flavor compounds are increased as vine nitrogen status declines. However, vine nitrogen status has to be pretty low before the flavor compounds really seem to be effective. 